Hi everyone! Uh, there are many videos on the internet about goat uh, stripping agents and um, looking at these videos I decided to buy one of these agents. You can see the name here, you can see the contact details and uh, you can see the package. This is the original package how this uh, goat stripping agents was delivered to me. Came from Canada uh, really quickly, took a couple of days to come to Europe and um, this is my setup. So I have these two beakers, I have gold pins with different quality, fully gold plated, um, good quality old ones from 1985, uh, modern ones with really uh, easy to uh, dissolve gold plating. So as for the manual, I should start with the best material I have and go to the uh, worst material to the modern pins that have really, really small and really thin gold plating on top. I have my magnetic uh, steerer, it's also a heater, so uh, this uh, agent is supposed to be used. It's working temperature and uh, best performance is at about 50 degrees, so I can adjust this. And uh, I will um, use this setup and try to strip and recover some gold today. Okay, so I'm ready with uh, some of my pins. I'm ready with uh, water, it's 50 degrees. Adjust it to keep 50 degrees the, the hot plate. And this is our uh, gold leaching agent. It's five grams per 100 milliliters of water. So I will add it. And as per the instructions, we have to wait until it is fully dissolved. I'll check what's the time now and let's see how long it will take for this gold leaching agent to fully dissolve in water. Hey everyone, so after 30 seconds we have uh, the solution, it has a uh, brown red color and actually let me show you something that is really interesting here. So it's a magnetic steerer as I said and if you go and take the steerer look at this it's covered with some magnetic material. It, it was inside the solution and uh, no matter how long you wait, this will not dissolve. So I will just remove my magnetic steerer now and uh, use this solution to recover gold. So, obviously there is some material inside that is magnetic. I will use this simple magnet, put it on the bottom to keep this material and just pour what is left, only the solution, to my gold plated pins. So, here it is. You can see on the bottom there is still some magnetic material left. I will put it back and continue heating this. So let's see how long it will take to how long it will take to strip the gold. Hey everyone. So now it's about five minutes later, and uh, this uh, process continues. But uh, if you can see the pins. There's really few gold plating left. So oh, we are almost done in about five minutes. I mean, honestly, I was surprised. I was thinking this is a piece of crap. <laughs> Let me return it back to the heat plate and wait maybe a minute or two. Process to be fully complete. And I will then show you the pins, how they look like.
Hi again. Meanwhile, I'll decide to check the pH of this um, solution. So I want to know, is it acidic? Is it um, alkaline? Uh, what is the pH is really important when you work. So in this case, I find it at about 14. So it looks like a strong alkaline solution that we have. I can show you the other ones. So no, it, it matches the the highest pH possible. It's 14. Okay, I think it's time to end this process. It's at about 8 minutes after it started. So let's see what is left here. I will just transfer the solution like this. If you don't want to have splashes and drops around, always pour your solution on the stick and it smoothly goes from one beaker to another. Wow! Honestly, I was thinking this is really a piece of crap that I just spent 100 euro on it. But from what I see up to now, it looks really, really nice. Okay, so what is also written in this manual? Continue adding gold-plated pins until you exhaust the solution. Okay, that's exactly what I'm planning to do. Next batch. I will return it to the hot plate and let's see. Okay, so 10 minutes later we have this solution, it's getting more and more dark brown color and uh, if I can recommend you something, please uh, always separate your pins when you collect them from the electronics because in this um, solution now I have pins that have uh, different thickness of the gold plating and uh, they dissolve with different speed. So uh, some of them are already uh, white, some of them still have some gold on them. So it's a little bit uh, not an efficient process to mix the pins. Usually I separate them in small bags and when I process them, I process them on batches just to be sure that I will have um, the same reaction for uh, each batch that I process. Okay, I, I'm pouring then this solution into the next beaker. And let's see what we have here. Yep, clean pins. That's great. Maybe I waited too long for this one. Okay, I'll mix these pins with the first batch. So now I will have them in one place and I will be able to rinse them well before throwing them. Okay, let's put this solution back on the heat plate and continue. Okay, so we are ready for the next batch. Let's pour the solution inside and see what is left here. A little gold plating is left. Yeah, maybe I was too it was too quick from my side. So I will what I will do now, I will add this here. So they will be processed too. Okay, I will return to the hot plate and let's see. Ok, 
Okay, I'm back seven minutes later and I have the feeling that this botch is ready. So let's, um, let's check quickly how the pins look like. Are they still gold plated or with the base metal is there? Let's quickly check. Mm, no, now now is much better. You can see they look really nice, and I see only base metal, no gold plating. Great. Okay, I will add the next watch, and let's continue. Okay, so as per the instructions, I should continue this until solution can, can, can dissolve gold. So I will have to decide with which material to continue. I'm looking here at my pins and my next maybe plan is to use these pins. So let's try to saturate this material and exhaust this solution. So I'll use really good quality pins. It was not as per the recommendations, but uh, let's see. Hey again. Okay, we are ready with the next batch. I will just check if all gold plating is strict. And let's move to the next speaker and next yep you can see no gold plating on these pins I will rinse them well okay putting this back on the hot plate and the pins are going to the previous patches so, yep, I will well rinse them and add this solution at the end when I recover the gold. Hey everyone, so that's the last batch. I still see some gold plating on the pins. I'm not sure if this is gold or not, but uh, I, I just decided to stop now and to check how much gold I have in this um, solution. As for the manual, I have to change the pH from 14 to at about six and a half, seven, and use zinc to precipitate um, gold. So, I will not do this in this room. I will use better ventilated uh, gold box that I have in another room and we'll show you the result when it's ready. Hey everyone, so that's the final uh, product or result from our experiment. Here are the gold pins that are completely stripped. All gold is washed from them. This is the last batch. I still see some gold on these pins. That's why I decided to stop here. And this is our solution. This is the initial solution, the working one, plus all the solutions that I got rinsing the pins and uh, moving them from one beaker to another. So I'll go now add hydrochloric acid here to adjust the pH up to neutral or slightly acidic, 6.5 
to not to seven to seven. Hey everyone, so I just adjusted the pH with uh, hydrochloric acid, and now solution is uh, pH one, I think, at about zero one. So it's extremely acidic. I drop the bowl, but I will add zinc, fix this, and have my gold precipitate.